Hello everyone. For this tutorial video, I'd like to explain how to break down complicated 3D curves, provided that they are solid throughout, i.e. they are not hollow. I would first like to quickly prove how an ellipsoid works, so that way we can use it as another tool. An ellipsoid can be seen as a 3D version of an ellipse, and to remember a trick for finding an ellipse was simply to see it as a stretched or squashed counterpart to a circle. So it should follow that an ellipsoid can be derived from a sphere in the same way. In particular, since we know the volume is 4 3rd pi r cubed, for a normal sphere, it should follow that for an ellipsoid, the volume is 4 3rd pi times a times b like for a 2D ellipse, but times c as well, which is simply the height of the ellipse measured relative to the center. By similar reasoning, we can approximate the surface area as 4 pi times length times width measured relative to the center. With that out of the way, I can use a light bulb as an example of a shape that is too sophisticated to be described accurately by cylinders, cones, spheres, or their parts. In particular, if you were to look up at the light bulb, you could see that you could divide it into a segment of a cone, a cylinder, and a hemisphere. And so the volume would be a simple addition of all these volumes. But the surface area would not be as straightforward because we must pay attention to the fact that the bases of the cylinders, cone segment, and hemisphere are all on the inside of the shape. And so therefore would not count as part of the surface area. Although we have begun our studies of complicated 3D curves using solid complicated curves like light bulbs, that not every 3D object is solid all the way through, as was probably already obvious in some of the examples, i.e. the plastic cup. But we assumed they were solid all the way through to make our lives more convenient. In the next tutorial video, I will explain how to figure out 3D solids that are not solid all the way through such as a water pipe or the cups studied earlier. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this video informative and make sure to see the other tutorial videos and follow me on either Facebook or Twitter for more content.